In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this really awesome text effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects, we first want to begin by creating our first box. So we're just gonna go up in to layer, new, solid. And in this white solid, you just want to go ahead and select your background color. So to begin with, I'm just going to start with white. We'll press OK on this. Now from here, we're gonna go into the proportional grid. So we're gonna hold this option and select proportional grid. Now we'll go up into the rectangle mask tool and we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to make a rectangle. Now this can be as big as you want, but I'm just going to make this roughly one, two, three, four, five squares long and one square high. Now I'm just gonna press P on the keyboard to load position and we'll move the position of this over to the left so that it's in the center. There we go, that looks really nice. Now, from here, we're gonna go into the mask, so we'll press M on the keyboard to load mask one. We'll select the mask one drop down arrow. We'll move over roughly one second and create a brand new keyframe on mask path. Now we'll move to the beginning. We're going to select the two frames on the right. So we'll select this point here and we'll select this point and we'll just move this over to the right. And you want to basically remove this box from the view. So we've completely deleted that. That's just completely disappeared. And if we play this back, you can see this box animates on. It is a little bit too slow though for my liking. So I'm just going to push that over to the left a touch, decrease that gap between those keyframes. And there we go. That looks really nice. Next up, we're just going to select those two keyframes. So we'll highlight both of those, hover over one of those keyframes, right click or double click, go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease. Now, if we play this back, that looks really nice. So from here, we're going to add another white box just underneath this one because we want two lines of text. So we're just going to command C, command V or control C, control V if you're on Windows or we'll press P on the bottom layer so as you can see, now we've got two boxes and that means we can have two rows of text. From here though, I'm just going to select both of those boxes. We'll press P on the keyboard and we'll just drag the position of this up so that it's in the center. If you've got both selected, all you have to do is just the position of one of the boxes and it will update both of the boxes accordingly. Now we'll turn off the proportional grid and we'll just play this back. You can see we've got two boxes coming on at the same time. So from here, we just want to go ahead and we want to make duplicate of those two boxes. So we'll select those two white solids, command C, command V, and then we're just going to label these top two layers. So we'll select this red box here and we'll go to any of these colors, anything that isn't red. So we'll select yellow. And this way we're going to differentiate between the background and the top layer of this animation. So at the moment, nothing is really happening. We've just got two boxes stacked on top of each other on each line. But from here, we're gonna go into effects and presets. We'll search for tint. And we're gonna drop that onto one of the boxes, go into map white two, and feel free to select a color of your choice. So I'm just going to select this orange and press okay. And then you want to copy that tint effect. So command C and paste that onto the bottom top white solid. So now at the moment, all you can see is two orange boxes. Of course though, we want the white box to come on first and then we want the orange box to follow on just a split second later. So we'll select those two orange boxes and we'll drag them over to the right just a touch. So they've gone over a few keyframes. And if we play this back, you'll notice we get the white box coming first and then we get the orange box coming in later. So we'll just play that back. And there we go, that looks really nice. Of course though, if you wanted that to be delayed and you wanted more white rather than orange, you just select those two orange layers and you just push them over to the right to add more delay. So from here, we want to separate the top line and the bottom line. We want the top line to come in first and then we want the bottom line to come in second. So from here, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to find the two top layers. So this is a top layer at the top and this is also a top layer. So we've got white solid one, white solid one. We're just going to move those close to each other. So these two are the top layers and then these two are the bottom layers. So we're going to bring in the bottom layers a split second later. So we'll select both of those layers and we'll move that over to the right. So this means we've got line one and then line two coming in. 
So now from here, we need to go ahead and we need to create some text. So we're just going to go roughly halfway through the composition. We're going to go up to the T icon at the top of After Effects. We'll select anywhere in that composition, but I'm going to select in that top yellow box just for ease. And then just type out the first line. So this is a text effect. There we go. That will do for now. So this is a text effect in Adobe. We're going to select all of that. We'll change the color to black. We'll add a bold effect to that. And that looks really good. Of course, though, we can just move this down a bit just so it's in the center of that yellow box. So about there. And then from there, we're just going to go up into the rectangle mask tool, select the rectangle tool. We're just going to draw a mask all the way around the text. So we've got this big rectangle. Go into mask one and create a brand new keyframe on the mask path. Now we'll move roughly half a second back to the left. We'll select these two points of the mask on the left. So the top left and the bottom left. And we'll move these over to the right. So if we play this back, we've got the white box coming in. We've got the orange box coming in. And then shortly followed is the text. So if we play this back, this is how that looks. Looks really awesome. So now we can go ahead and we can create the second line. So we'll go command C, command V on that text to create a second line of text. We'll move the position down so that it's sitting on the bottom line. And we can go ahead and change our text. So this is a text effect in Adobe After Effects. Awesome. Yay. That would do. So now this is obviously going to come in at the same time as the top layer because I just made a copy. So we want to nudge that over to the right. So we're going to nudge that around there. And when we play this back, you'll see that looks really awesome. So from here, we're just going to select Command and A on your keyboard to highlight everything on the timeline. Locate the boxes that are situated beneath this motion blur logo. And that's just a few circles on top of each other. We'll select any one of those boxes and make sure the motion blur icon is turned on. Make sure that is blue to activate the motion blur. So rendering that out and playing that back, you'll see that looks a lot better with motion blur versus without motion blur. So now from here, you can see we've animated this in. What do we do if we want to animate this out? Well, we could go through all the process of creating the keyframes and animating it back out, but there is a slightly easier method for this. So we're just going to go Command A, select everything. We'll right click on one of our layers and go to pre compose. And we can rename this pre composition to transition. So in order to create the out point, you want to go roughly halfway through this clip, go Command Shift and D delete that last bit. So now we've only got about four seconds of video. We've got the transition in and then the video hangs there for a second. So from here, we're going to go Command C and V to copy that. We'll right click, go up into time and select time reverse layer. So this is going to reverse that video. So rather than it being an in, this is now going to be an out. So we'll just drag that over to the right. Make sure the beginning of this new clip sits at the end of the first clip. And if we play this back from the very beginning, you'll see we've got our transition in. We go into our second clip, it's reversed. So now we're going to transition back out. And there you go. That looks really awesome. And the great news is this is on a transparent layer, which means if you drop this onto any footage, then it's just going to sit perfectly on top of the footage and there won't be any black or white or green layers underneath this. And there you go. That is how you create this text box transition animation effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. Thank you for watching.